Hi, I'm Katie Bryan, the illegitimate twin half-brother of Byron Katie. If you're one of those non-dual Advaita spirituality folks, you may know about my sister and her, and her technique of self-inquiry and turning it around and asking, is it true, about your troublesome thoughts. My sister came to this realization after having a deep spiritual awakening, after watching a cockroach crawl across her foot. I too had a deep spiritual awakening involving a cockroach. I had some weak old pizza crusts lying on my living room floor, and I was gazing at them when a cockroach walked up and started nibbling at a moldy piece of mushroom. I wished that the disgusting cockroach wasn't there. And then I realized, what if the cockroach wasn't there? I saw that the disgusting moldy mushroom nibbling cockroach came and went, and wasn't really a problem at all. So I turned this into my own technique. Rather than questioning troublesome thoughts and asking if they're true, I ask one simple question which applies to any thought. What if that thought, which is bothering me so much, wasn't there? What would the situation be without that thought? What I saw was that without any particular thought, good or bad, all that there is is simply silence and bliss which totally neuters the power of any thought to bother me. If the underlying constant state is silent and blissful, then why be bothered by transient thoughts which come and go, just like that moldy mushroom nibbling cockroach? I tried telling my sister that her technique is way too complicated and bothersome, but she doesn't return my phone calls and has blocked me on Facebook. So instead of turning it around and asking if it's true, Simply ask yourself, what if that thought wasn't there?